Hello, welcome back to another Korean gaming video. So, um, kind of a highlight of my <laughs> of my uh, summoner's work career. I actually got featured on a Seishizu video. So I thought I'd give a little bit more clarity and the difficulty that it actually takes to build this team. So he was recently looking for, you know, the fastest dungeon teams. And this is one that I made that might take the cake on consistency. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the all best times of Giants rank. And I am currently ranked 11. But this is with a farm team. And yes, with this um, time that I got, I'm not running it like I am currently because of consistency. The team still passes, still it, normal, but it's just gets a worse average because of uh, Akaru is moving first before Jara. And that's just for the team up with Mephisto and the possibility of skipping a turn uh, of Jara going first on the mid boss and the final boss. But honestly, on the mid boss, it doesn't clear it. And that's if I had Belial, the water demon, it would work much better. Or hey, I'll take Belzebub, <laughs> dark demon, any day. But uh, with that, that's kind of the thought behind it. If I did get uh, Belial, I I can almost guarantee that I will take rank one, no problem. Because if I skip um, the turn that it takes three on the mid boss rather than two, I think I'm going to take it. So, um, but overall, I'm going to explain this team, the difficulty behind it. Um, the first difficulty having both, uh, Zarath and the Jara, the dark chicken. And so, is this team super consistent? Yes. I have not failed with it currently. Um, but with that, it does have times like this where it's 23 seconds. If I get Belial, it'll be sub 20 every single run. Most of the time it is, uh, but there are times where it, you know, messes up and it doesn't team up right or Jara misses, even though he's Mac accuracy. Um, so we can kind of go over the runes um, after this set of 10. But first and foremost, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I really want to do more content. I'm going to start doing RTA. Um, currently, I am... I'm not really super high, but decently high. Um, and I just want to do content for you guys. Uh, monster reviews and how to use them, how to rune them. So, and I will be actually showcasing my runes and how I play and the, my mentality behind it. Is this an M. Bison? That's so late. That's so late. Like that was... <laughs> Wow, you had them in storage for a while. And so, with that, uh, we're going to go over this team, the runes. In Say Shizu's video, he does go over the runes, but I'm going to give you the thoughts behind it. Um, so, if you're new to the channel, or, um, I mean, it has been a little bit since I posted a video, um, check out Say Shizu's video. Um, a great YouTuber, a really big inspiration of creating really good uh, content for people out there to really understand what they're doing in the game and how to progress and things to build and whatnot. So um, make make sure that you watch his videos. I <laughs> watch them all the time because, you know, it gives you good ideas. So this was a 20-second average. Nothing, I mean, I, I would say nothing too terrible. I want it to be better, but... At this current stage with Mephisto, it's just not possible. So, all right, let's go over the runes. So when Seishizu was talking about uh, Zerath, and is it difficult? Yes, it is. I can't even tell you how difficult. Maybe it's because I just don't farm crazy amount of Necro, but this is very difficult um, for me. You have to hit 76 crit rate. With a speed that's above what the um, dungeon's at. And enough to clear the golems. The golems are just so tanky. They're so tanky. And um, 
you need water damage. I don't have the best water artifact. I have a plus 16. It's not great. Could be better. Um, and I have plus 18 on skill 3, 9 additional on max HP, so it's 27, um, and plus 2% HP. Um, with that, I'll just kind of quick go over the runes. Nothing astounding, but they're pretty solid. Flat HP additional is very helpful. Um, to get him that higher base, and he has a lot, a lot of HP. <laughs> so that's Zerath. Um, pretty cut and, you know, clear, clear and cut, clear, yeah, clear and cut. Uh, the reason I have accuracy runes on him is because I run SF10. Not, well, SF10 with this one to hit the accuracy, so I don't have to really run accuracy on the other ones while running the Zerath lead. And I run it in PC-10. I'll do a showcase of the PC-10 um, with Zerath because he makes it so much easier, so much more consistent, and you don't have to have a crazy Julie. Um, but this is my Karo. This guy flat out has too much, <laughs> too much accuracy, but it's okay because I run him in SF-10 and I run him in... Um, What's it called? Raid R5. So um, I need Will on him. The Bora, the reason I have her on damage is because let's say Mephisto doesn't team up and everyone else gets pulled in on the mid boss. I have her on damage so she, one, does enough to kill the mid boss with the team up if Mephisto isn't pulled in. And two, if you don't by some chance kill the mid boss. What happens is I have her moving before Mephisto. Mephisto's skill 2 will absorb all other allies' HP by 10%. That is a terrible thing to do because Zerath, you need him to have enough HP for the third wave to clear it. So when he absorbs, he steals some of his HP. So in that next phase, he's not going to have enough to kill, to one-shot the wave, which is very unfortunate. So at all costs, you want to avoid Mephisto moving because he 99% of the time will use skill 2 and steal Zeras HP. So this is kind of the thought behind it. There is also, let's say, all right, I don't have a Deborah. I have everything else. I have a Jara. I have a Zerath. I just don't have a, I just don't have a Deborah. I can't make this team work. Well, I got news for you. Yes. I have a almost, when I say almost as consistent, it's pretty much just as consistent. All right. So you just run double Ocaro instead of the Deborah. Yeah, it's a little bit slower, but it is, you will never, and I say never, fail with it. Um, what's the, the, the bonus versus, um, you know, just running three Ocaro? You could. For sure, this is just faster and more consistent, more damage overall. So 19 second, you know, and this is super, super consistent. Um, but overall, um, yes, this team is very difficult to replica, to, to replicate. And um, I get people being salty and like, oh, there's just another LD Nat 5 showcase. This was all just uh, to uh, create content for Say Shizo and, you know, put some fun teams out there. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. But more content's going to be coming out on my side for RTA. There's been lots of dungeon things. If I think of anything else, I'm really working on SF10. SF10 is one of those dungeons that, you know, they just need to fix the AI of... Uh, win kung fu girl like if she has skill three always use it but it is just a nightmare because they just derp and derp and derp and it, you you'll see three skill ones in a row that don't move to skill two and you just want to cry and then you fail and you're like i did 50 runs and it was fine and then it's just not consistent so that's why i don't want to kind of showcase a team like that 
but the team for SF10 that I I think I actually am pretty high ranked on SF10, and it's the um, farm team. Let's see what I'm ranked. <laughs> of course, I'm ranked that. You know, whatever. Let's keep our minds out of the gutter. 69 is just a good number, not for any other reason. So this is the team, and it's a farm team. Most people that you're you're seeing around here, not a farm team, not a farm team. I try to make teams that. I don't have to like manual it and this is that team so the goal is you would have Ling Ling move first to put the um, anti buff block kind of thing on it and then Zerath would move then Jara then Ikaro so if he misses defense break if he misses um, the branding you have another chance with Ikaro same thing to pull in Ling Ling if she missed her um, block buff. They have a chance to go skill one, skill two. And then it would be Brandia. Brandia is just on a damage build. Um, and that's pretty much it. Nothing super complicated. But it's not a like 100% team because of Ling Ling. AI is terrible. It's kind of like Lucian. I feel like sometimes they don't want to fix the AI because things might be a little too easy. So basically, that's what this team does. Don't want to beat a dead horse. If you want to check out Seishizu's video and all of his other content that he does, discussions on certain dungeons, um, he is a go-to kind of person for that. Uh, besides that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future content. If you have any other ideas, please put it down below and um, I will try my best to create stuff like that. If you have ideas for me to um, do dungeon teams, hey, I, I'll do a video on it. You guys leave enough comments. I'll make a full video of me just doing weird stuff that you guys <laughs> that you guys recommend. So um, please support the channel by subscribing, liking the video. It uh, encourages me to make more videos. There's a lot of times where I go through lulls and just I don't know what to make. So, one, give me ideas. Mm -hmm. Two, oh, I guess I need to power up some runes or throw some away. <laughs> so, besides that, I hope you guys you know have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.